Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on Dmaps TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. If you're regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share of you so that others may also see what we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So as I previously foretold, the desperation of what is intensifying in the run-up to the elections of 2023. As we see now, Fadzai Mahiri exposing one of Professor Mutuli always lies. We know that Professor Mutulingwe is also the Minister of Finance in the Zimbabwean government. So he posted a flyer, a campaign flyer that is written, Vote Sanupiev, 5 million votes for President Munangago, and cited some infrastructural development that he credited to his name, like the rehabilitation and construction of roads, the police station, which is to reduce crime rate, and also the Cowdery Park Health Centre. So it is the Cowdery Park Health Center that raised questions and that raised the the the, the, the truthfulness of what Mutuli Nube was saying. And Fadzai Mahere just put, posted saying that why are you abusing a hospital paid by the taxpayer through an international facility in your desperate personal campaign for Zanupia? We need new leaders. So according to Fadzai Mahere, Mutuli Nube does not have anything to do with this country park health center it was uh, funded by the taxpayer through an international facility she also shared an article that's what, that was written by newswire live explaining uh, the, the the source of funds for the project it said that zimbabwe is to raise 193 million in offshore lending to implement a 2019 agreement with uk infrastructure company nms for the construction of hospitals and clinics in the country absa and standard bank of south africa are the joint arrangers for the transaction which will be insured by export credit insurance corporation of south africa the original contract saw nms building clinics at stone regina Rari and country park in blawayo the initial phases of the project which also include four other hospitals have been funded by the zimbabwe government that is what father Mahiri wants us to note kuti it has been funded by the Zimbabwean government in cash for 25 million with funding now secured for the next phase. NMS plans to build five 80 bed district hospitals and 30 20 bed clinics. The balance of the project will now be funded by the ECA backed structured finance package. So that was that, that was the article that was shared by Father Mayer. She also said uh, another tweet from Melanie. Robinson, who is an ambassador in the UK, she, she said that great visit to a hospital, great visit to a hospital, the UK's NMS is building in Blawayo. The UK's NMS is building in Blawayo before going to Setaite. Work on the Cowdery Park facility started in 2022. One of 35 hospitals and clinics being expertly built here by NMS. Proud of this shared investment in providing better health care to Zimbabweans. That's what Melanie Robinson said. And Twimbos here to share their sentiments on this thought that Mutuli Nube is actually taking the credit that it does not even belong to, he, to, to, to him. Someone said, Zanpiev is, is a party of liars and looters. He has never been good from the time he joined the looters. Now, Country Park residents know what he is. No normal being can vote for a man who has watched RTGs become a reduced to a toilet paper. You can't vote Sanupiev and claim sanity. They know hospitals need to be constructed, but they loot, then parade themselves on donated buildings, claiming credits. Mutuling is a failed businessman, a failed minister of finance, a liar, and he will be heavily defeated in country park. So please, as we campaign, as we gun up of us, let's take the credit that is due to us. Mutili Nui had a very, very simple task. He just had to do good in the Ministry of Finance so that things become workable with the majority of Zimbabweans. He wouldn't even be campaigning by now. Just imagine. Tendai beating. Do you think Tendai beating will ever campaign in Harare East or it happens automatically that the people will vote for him because they know that he is a man of results from his 2009 to 2013 escapade. Now Mutuli is so desperate as to take the credit of NMS into his campaign. Please, 
let your works do the campaigning for you. Anokone kenemfaro, jinwenyu, honorable madiva.